G'day guys, how are you? And uh, as you can see, we're out here removing all the damaged fencing um, that's um, all around the place. And it's uh, absolutely just ridiculous uh, how much work we've got to do. So, I um, oh, mean, it is hot, 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 hot today. Um, you can see as down here, I've just walked through here because I've just ripped this part of the fence down. And look there, that's our creek. I don't know whether you've seen it in previous videos, but this was really thin all through here. This section here was maximum a meter wide. Now it's um, huge and all been washed out. That's our big water hole um, that we normally get to pump out of. And it's absolutely just huge right now. Uh, so much water has come through. But we're gonna get all this done, get all this uh, fencing out because it's um, been absolutely destroyed by the floods and uh, all this grass and weeds and lantanas all coming up through it. And we're just making sure that we're um, getting it all out of the way. Gotta get all these old posts out. Uh, as you can see, they're not gonna be very hard to get out at all because they're um, they're pretty, uh, pretty loose in the ground. Uh, most of them are knocked over over the other side over there, so. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of getting it all done. And uh, I didn't show much of the footage, dragging stuff out. Had to go into town today and um, bought myself a new sniggin' chain. And um, if you don't know what a sniggin' chain is, I'll show you. And I'll flash up a bit of footage of it in a second. But just a matter of getting it all done. And um, yeah, go, go, go. So, fun and adventures. <laughs> So there we go, that's all the sniggin chain is. It's an eight mil chain um, there, eight mil chain, and it's got these hooks on it, which can go around and hook back onto themselves. And uh, so you can pretty much lock it in to itself really easily. Well, it is easy when you're using two hands, but yeah, there you go. So it just locks into itself and it won't slip. Uh, snig chains used normally for dragging logs and that out of the bush if you're logging and um, that's basically what it's for. And um, we're dragging, dragging the posts, dragging the wire into one big pile and uh, just making sure that we've got the right gear. But yeah, that's only a six metre snick chain. And um, yeah, it's what I could afford. So <laughs> uh, brand new and works a treat. So it's uh, rated to uh, 3,800 kilo. I don't know what that is in pounds, but I'll flash it up on the screen. But there you go, a uh, little sneak chain. This is a section of the uh, fencing that we're removing at the moment. And you can see that it's just been twisted, bent, all the rest of it, just from flood water. And um, getting it out, it's all tangled in everything and it's just a horrible mess to actually get out. So we're just working on it slowly and um, it's gonna take us probably another day and a half and we'll um, should be ready to get started on the other part of it. Contractors are here doing some work for us. They're uh, digging the holes with the digger and they'll get it all sorted, all ready to go, all laid out today, hopefully. So that's all uh, cleaned up. New fence lines going in down here and all of this, all of this area right through that tree line will all be open up for the sheep, hopefully, before the end of the week. 